It's 1950s and the Air Force has a problem. They just invested heavily in new jet-powered aviation with the assumption that they were going to get massive gains in performance from their pilots. But in fact, the opposite was happening. In one day, over 17 pilots crashed and no one really knew why. They blamed the pilots, they blamed the flight instructors, and then they figured out it was the cockpit. They had built the cockpit around this idea of an average sized pilot as defined in the 1920s. They commissioned the largest study at the time of pilot body size to calculate a brand new average sized pilot. But guess what they found? There actually was not even one single pilot that was average on the dimensions of size that mattered for cockpits. If you designed a cockpit on average, then it actually fit nobody. Once the Air Force figured that out, they banned the use of averages in design, created flexible cockpits and performance soared. The parallel to education is pretty straightforward. We're still the only industry left that encourages designing to averages, whether it's textbooks, assessments, we even fix the pace and sequence that kids learn, all based on what we know about kids on average. So no wonder we have performance problems in education, but we also know the way forward. If instead we build educational environments to fit each individual, then we can expect the same kind of performance gains and expanded opportunity that the Air Force found.